All right, y'all, Love & Hip Hop Miami Season 4, Episode 17. Let's get into this recap. Okay, so boom, Suki is rehearsing because she got a spot on the Kings of Hip Hop Tour, and it is in two days, so she got to be ready. And she is telling Bill that she need him to be there and support her, and he is all but ready. He said they in a good place, and he is putting his music on pause right now to make sure that everything go right with her on this tour. So, Bill, we don't want to hear you complaining no more about you having to stop your career for her because at this point, baby, it is a choice. So, Ray J got his kids at the beach, which should be fun. But Ray J is not having fun, baby. He is stressed out because he is all over the blogs about him having unreleased sex tapes with him and Kim Kardashian. Now, his manager, Nicole, called him and said that this whole thing is problematic. And Ray J met up with Kanye to give him some old clips and audio that he had of him and Kim Kardashian, but he said that it was not a second sex tape. But Kanye went and put it out in the blogs, and he feel like Kanye made it seem like he was trying to extort Kim Kardashian, and he don't appreciate that shit, right? So... How this all got started was Ray J friend Wack 100 did a podcast and he said that they got a second tape. But Ray J said that he was just joking. Baby, listen, I cannot keep up. So Ray J manager, like, you need to say something. Like, we need to make a plan. We need to meet ASAP Rocky, right? And Ray J, like, this is putting his career in jeopardy. Okay. So Princess Hat came to get the kids, and she's still mad at him because he slut shamed her, right? But she is annoyed because people keep on bringing up this old ass relationship and this old ass sex tape. And sis, I feel you like what the fuck and she is telling him that he need to talk to Kanye but he hesitant because he like what if he try to record me for another storyline and he said that he just gonna go through Nori because Nori and Kanye friends so Nori can be the middleman child a mess now Florence is having a team meeting because she's still upset about what happened in Orlando and her team is like baby that was unfortunate like we couldn't control what had happened and so she know that the people that she hired to be her managers have lack of experience being a manager and she still hired them and she was like y'all was supposed to make sure I was good and her manager was like baby I feel like you attacking my character like what you wanted me to do about your husband walking on stage trying to fight like this was days ago so you should have addressed it days ago and she was like you would know where to be found and they was like, baby, it was a fuck up. It is going to happen again. <laughs> Chow, what? And so she said that she should have been on stage at the time that she was supposed to be on stage. And they need to fix they self. And baby, they need to take her where she's supposed to go. Where she's supposed to go, I don't know, child. But that's what she told them. Because baby, it is giving your ass is going to stay in Miami and be a local artist. Suki is on the road. She is on her way to her big performance. And she is so nervous and she feel the pressure and she don't feel like she had enough time to prepare because she only had two days so she said they need to practice baby she done made them pull the bus over in the shells parking lot and they is doing the whole dance routine on the ground baby i said you know what <laughs> can you imagine pumping gas and you got bitches over here pumping pussy child i can't i cannot child but that made her feel better so whatever it takes to make you feel better child you do that i ain't even mad at you so ray j finally pulled up on nori and nori is ready to talk to ray j because nori been reading the blogs and he like baby what's going on and so he feel him in about the whole little spiel and nori do feel like kanye is wrong and he feel like ray j and him need to have a conversation Baby, I don't know if he going to make that conversation happen because he did not say, but I guess we don't really care. I mean, it is what it is. It's the Kardashians. Like, this is what the fuck they do, child. So, I don't know. I, I really, eh, I only want to say, the sex tape was in 2007. It's 2022, baby. Let it go. Set it free. Kaka. Now, Flo is not ready to fire her managers but she want to explore her options and who is she meeting with for management now i don't even have to tell y'all who don is if y'all watch love and hip-hop but Flo, keep your managers because don is not gonna do no goddamn better child okay like 
child why is she still around and so they having this conversation and Flo is telling her that she want to be international and she don't feel like her team could take her anywhere and Don is like well you in your 30s you should have been further than where you are and then Flo started telling her about the whole Orlando thing with her husband getting on stage and she didn't see anything for the show she didn't know if she was supposed to be on stage at that time blue 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 and so Don is like, well, that was your team fault. I can take you to the top, but you got to get rid of your husband. And Flo like, uh-uh, baby, like, no, I'm not doing that. And Don say that Marlon want to be more famous and bigger than Flo. And he grabbed that mic because he wanted to perform. It wasn't for them. And she's talking about whether well, people love us. We the Haitian Beyonce and Jay-Z. Child, shut the fuck up with that shit because at this point, it is an insult. Now, Suki made it to her show, and she is not okay because the dressing room that she got is not even a dressing room, child. So, she is pissed off. Ain't no food. Ain't no liquor. Ain't no makeup artist. Ain't no hairdresser. Ain't nothing in there, baby. And so, out of nowhere, one of her backup dancers starts snapping out. She said that she ain't got time for this shit. She done with this shit. She ain't doing this shit no more. And Suki, like, what the hell happened? Everybody, like, what the hell happened? But her manager went and talked to the girl and the girl came back and Suki talked to her and baby, she stayed. So I don't know what the hell happened, but okay. Now, Ray J got on the phone with his friend, Wack 100, and he is telling him like, you know, the stuff that you did, get all this stuff stirred up. And the boy told Ray J that it was his fault that he fucked up because he shouldn't have met with Kanye in the first place. And Ray J started going on about how he felt like nobody got his back and he was in the hospital finna die by himself. And the dude was like, well, you just need to speak your truth. Like, if whatever you want to do, I'm with. I got your back. I'm Ryan. Whatever you want to do. Child, can we let this go? We don't care. Like, the sex tape wasn't even that good. It wasn't even that good. Like, child, y'all act like this shit was like child it wasn't that good so suki is ready to hit the stage she's still nervous but she is ready now she got her makeup done hair done everything done and she go on stage she killed her performance and baby bill was standing up there looking like a goddamn proud father watching his daughter walk across the stage lord jesus but suki was not happy with her performance she said that she forgot the dance and she forgot some of the words and she is just beating herself up and it's like girl it happens to the best like it happens to the goats and baby you are nowhere near goat status so it's okay little bump in the road get over it you will be okay set it free boo caca um but anyway y'all that was that on that i will be back next week to do a recap to episode 18 so come back for that in the meantime between time watch the videos for my other shows like comment subscribe let's have a conversation down in the comment section below i just uploaded a recap to love and hip-hop atlanta if you haven't watched that go watch that it's your girl senior renee and i am out of here y'all peace